Hi, in this video I'm going to explain uh, the basic function of an air curtain. Uh, let's say this is a doorway where you can go, this is like outside and this is like inside. And uh, this is my, this is a doorway and there's an air curtain. Now what an air curtain does, just like the name says, it pushes air down and generates a curtain across this doorway where, uh, let's say, heat, insects, or even cold can't come in and the air inside can't go out. However, any human or vehicle can easily cross through. Actually, such, a, such an air, or most air curtains typically can, can typically withstand something like, if I'm not mistaken, something like 35 to 40 kilometers per hour wind velocities. So, you know, they can withstand something. And uh, so basically they're just like a doorway. However, no door or glass. You know, you can easily walk through. You don't need no moving parts, which have to always open and close. So that's, that's one advantage of, of, uh, of air curtains. Um, one thing is to notice with air curtains is actually the air isn't actually, it doesn't actually go vertically down, but if, I, if, if I'm gonna draw it from the side, let, let me just go down a bit, I've got more space. The air doesn't go vertically down. Uh, I'm gonna change colors as well. There's my air curtain, looking at it from the side. Air doesn't go like this, but it takes a sort of a, something like a projectile uh, uh, trajectory and it goes like this. There's a small lip here, there's a small lip, and this pushes the air like this. It goes like this and then straightens back down here like that. And that's how air flows out of air curtains. This is done in order to avoid... Uh, now, this is outside here. Now, here is out and here is in. And I'm going to change colors again. Why not? And this, this, this kind of trajectory movement is done to avoid having this outside air come in. With a vertical, with a vertical flow, it's much easier for outside air to, 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 to come in and vice versa. And thus you have this, this why most air curtains, or I think all of them have this lip here. And this pushes the air out of there. Now in air curtains, the air is generated mostly through fans. And I'm going to discuss in the next video what kind of fans you have in, in, um, in air curtains. And some air curtains even have heating elements, you know, which, which, uh, which uh, produce warm air uh, for, 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 uh, for uh, warming effects or insulation effects. Um, another thing to watch out is that I'm going to often uh, let me take green again for my air curtain often you have an air curtain here let me just draw an imaginary line that's my doorway and that's out and that's in. Now, often uh, air curtains operate in, in buildings and often buildings have some sort of fan devices out here which are taking the used air out and through those so-called exhaust fans you have here some sort of, sometimes a pressure less than what's outside. Yeah, so you have here the exhaust fans. And what they do, they, they, they push the air out. You have your people and they're using air full of carbon dioxide and stuff, or, or in a factory, bad smells. And uh, those exhaust fans, they, they push that air out. And um, you have maybe, maybe not so many fans or, or, or your air supply is not that as, as, uh, as much as uh, as the air exhausted so you have here sometimes less pressure than the pressure outside and what happens here the air curtain air from the outside let me take another color for for the air take red again so when you have here this pressure differential air from the outside 
will have a much easier time coming into the building. That's why in, uh, in, uh, in many buildings, before installing air curtains, you have to make sure that your pressures, that the pressure differential is there is none or very very minuscule that's why you have to see if you if, if you can supply if you can install some uh, supply fans which 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 feed in some air into your building in order to compensate for this difference in pressure okay so because an air curtain alone can't hold or can't withstand this pressure differential and eventually air from the outside will come in and basically your air curtain will be you know will not be very effective so that's why always check if you if you have these huge pressure differentials uh, in your building uh, due to exhaust fans or other factors, because then you need some some supply fan system which uh, uh, you know uh, supplies supplies your building with air and and, and it increases that pressure so it equal it equals more this outside pressure.